WooCommerce is about to go through some massive changes in how you use it as well as its performance. And no, this is not clickbait. This right here is the current way that you would create a product, the interface, how everything's organized, but this is going away. And this right here is most likely going to be the brand new interface for creating products. Everything's changed. There's even this new added description mode, which some people are going to love. Some people are not going to love up here at the top. There's a navigation system for the different options for your products but that's not all there's one more thing there's a brand new hyperspeed mode called hpos the worst acronym in the world right now you can optionally turn it on it's going to be turned on by default in just two months and it promises some very impressive speed improvements that you can see here 30 percent faster 1.5 percent faster up to 40 times faster and i'm going to explain all of it to you right now now, besides being a YouTuber, I'm also a poodle lover and a product creator. One of those products is the fastest growing alternative to WooCommerce named Surecart. You can build full stores with it in just a few minutes, including a shop page like this. You can create beautiful product pages like this. Let's go ahead and add this to the cart. There's a slide out cart as well as a beautiful checkout page. And you get all of that for free. It would literally cost you hundreds of dollars per year with WooCommerce. But I keep myself in the loop with all things WooCommerce. And that's because I also make cart flows, which is used by hundreds of thousands of WooCommerce merchants that want to generate more money with their e-commerce store, which leads me to HPOS. HPOS stands for high performance order storage. I think they should have figured out how to make it H O P S because it's easier to say hops. I could see myself in a video saying WooCommerce hops, but that's what this update is going to do is make WooCommerce hop. It's going to change the way that the order data is stored inside of your WordPress database so it can hop along at a much faster rate. Now, this is really something that should have happened years ago, but hey, at least we're here now. And if you look in this article here, you can see all sorts of impressive stats on performance improvements on all different aspects of WooCommerce. It's not just looking up orders, checking orders. It's also faster checkout experience, which is what really matters and is very much needed inside of WooCommerce. But there's going to be significant performance gains in the back end when you're doing administrative stuff inside of your store. But check this out. WooCommerce is making HPOS the default experience, and this is going to happen in August of 2023. You can actually enable HPOS right now on your store if you like. The option has has been sitting there for at least six months. Now, what will happen is if you're using a third party extension for your WooCommerce store that does not explicitly have compatibility with HPOS, you'll not be able to enable it. So this is where the setting is. It's under WooCommerce, click on settings, and then you'll want to go to the advanced tab here. It's the far tab on the right. And then you'll want to click here where it says features. And this will pull up the experimental features for your store. And you can see right here, high performance order storage. You can check this box and it will enable HPOS on your WooCommerce store. But if there is that third party extension that has not explicitly added support, you're not going to be able to do this. You'll see some form of a warning. It'll be interesting to see how this is handled next month when this is the default option enabled. But with all of our products at cart flows, we make several, actually, it's not just cart flows. We actually added compatibility to HPOS probably six months ago, as soon as it was available as an option to turn on, uh, we got right on top of it and added that. Now, the bad news is if you're, WooCommerce store is dependent upon a lot of third party plugins that are just kind of side hustles for the developers. Those might not get updated and you might not be able to benefit from HPOS. So you might have to look for alternatives to those plugins that you're using or have a WooCommerce store that doesn't hop along. And that brings us to the new product creation screen inside of WooCommerce. That is also an option that you can turn on. And I don't know if you've been paying attention, but every single area of WooCommerce 
WooCommerce is getting blockified, whether you like it or not. This means all of the front end parts have been converted into blocks of some sort. Now it's going to start happening on the back end of WooCommerce. Now, the brand new order creation was literally just announced on June 28th. And so now is the race for third parties to make their add-ons compatible with it. So any a third party add on to WooCommerce that puts an option inside of the product creation screen. So this would be like variation swash plugins, subscription plugins, all kinds of plugins, even card flows that add some options in there. Those are going to have to have some adjustments made in order for you to be able to enable this option while having that plugin enabled. So we're going to take a look at it in a sec. I'll show you uh, what that looks like, uh, the screen to enable it. Now, what's interesting, though, is they're going for this kind of a tabbed approach here, which I think is fine, but they're trying to fit it inside of the block editor mold for better or for worse. Now, what is kind of interesting is one of the difficult things with WooCommerce product pages is how do you get some unique design content in there? There's always been these text boxes. So there's a new option in the product creator that pulled up a modal that is essentially the WordPress block editor, but you can add some design to it, which you see right here. So now your descriptions, that's the area that's underneath the product info, underneath the gallery, underneath the price and the order button and all that, it's that area underneath. In theory, you'll be able to design whatever you want in that area using the block editor. I find that the most interesting part of this. So here's that site that we had turned on HPOS and you can see here is the option, uh, the new product editor, it's in beta. And it's giving me a warning that cart flows and this other plugin that we make, which is activated on this site, it won't let me turn on the product editor because of these third party plugins. This has only been a day, so we'll get these adapted right away. But it's because these two plugins add options on the product page. So every single third party extension that adds options to the product page when it's being created, uh, if those are not adapted, if those have not been added as uh, support having been added to it, it's just not going to be enableable. So here's a different website that does not have those plugins installed and I'm able to activate it. And you can see the checkbox is there. So let's check it out. Products add new and it's going to take it's going to load the screen it just takes a sec here and it very much feels like the block editor a lot of things are the same it's just reorganized so first you'll notice up here we have this navigation of the different settings general pricing inventory and then the shipping so the basic info is you pop in a name, you pop in a summary. This is that little bit of information that's going to show around where the price shows uh, on the top of the product. Uh, your list price, your sale price. Now check this out. This is where it gets interesting, this description. You can click on this to add a description and it pulls this up and you literally have the block editor right here. You can start typing away. You can click on the slash uh, to pull up other blocks and find a, a block that you want, like maybe the image block. I'm noticing it's not listing out the blocks from third-party block packages. So let's just go ahead and uh, add an image in there. And uh, there we have it. Uh, there's no save button here. It's just saving it all in real time. So if I close it, it's showing me a little bit of a preview there and I can click this button to edit it. So it's all real snappy and is happening really quick. Now this is what's gonna appear underneath your product gallery, your price, your order button. It's where it says description. If you have a tabbed system that might say description, reviews or something along those lines, when someone clicks on description, that's where this is going to show. Okay, so we got images, attributes, we've got our pricing tab right here. We've got inventory options right here. We've got shipping options right here as well. Now, as someone that creates products, 
I want to tell you kind of what I think. And when I create products, I'm not the developer, I'm not coding, but I give a lot of uh, input on the user interface and the user experience. Personally, I don't like the new product creation experience, but it's early. This literally just came out and they'll probably iterate on this for six to 12 months. But I sort of feel like they're making compromises to make this design fit inside of the block editor. For example, here is the first look at the brand new user interface for Cardflow's version two, which will be released in July. This is just one of the screens, but we spent 12 months working on refining the user interface so that we could have an excellent user experience for users of all skill levels. And because we're not confined by some kind of design language, we could accomplish whatever we wanted to accomplish for the user's benefit, to make it easy, to make the experience fantastic. Now I'm really rooting for WooCommerce to nail the UI and the UX, and uh, they've got a little bit of a ways to go, and hopefully they will end up getting there. But that's just my opinion. I'm wondering what your opinion is. And that's what that comment section down below is there for. And if you're new to the channel, I'd invite you to click on the subscribe button so that you can get more videos like this. We have a great community going on here at WP Crafter, and it would be great to have you as well. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.